Hello everyone, thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel. Yes, we're Peak Network and we're here to keep you updated with all of the latest and most authentic happenings in our country. The news we've got today is coming from the Nigerian Army. They have stated uh, why they cannot expose um, the Boko Haram sponsors. Quite shocking. We'll get into more details in a moment, guys. But before we do, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again, guys, for your continuous support. Right, um, let's just get into the main details of the news. Why we cannot expose Boko Haram sponsors, Nigerian Army. The Nigerian army has said it is not their duty to expose those sponsoring Boko Haram in the country. Coordinator of Defense Media Operations, John Eneche, stated this at a media briefing on Thursday. Eneche admitted that the army knows that some criminal groups have heavy financial backings, but its major task is to fight terrorism and other criminality. He explained that the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, and the Department of State Services, DSS, were responsible for revealing the sponsors. It is not the duty of the military to uncover the sponsors. Our duty is to remain in the front line and defeat terrorism and other criminality, and that is what we are doing. We have the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, and the Department of State Security, DSS, it is their responsibility to gather intelligence on the sponsor of the terrorists and not the military, Eneche mentioned. So guys, uh, Nigerians have actually reacted to, uh, to this right now. We know um, the Nigerian army, the person of uh, uh, Buritai as well, they've been saying a lot um, recently regarding this fight against the Boko Haram. And we know also Nigerians believe as well that... Um, from presidency, it is so, to some extent that from presidency, uh, Boko Haram, they are getting support because they can't see any reason why this Boko Haram has been lingering for so long. The Boko Haram and all of um, the headsmen activities going on in our country that even before Buhari took over, it was, it was not um, this um, rampant. It was not this... Um, uh, uh, much in different states so but with the military stating that um, it's not um, uh, one of the reasons why they cannot expose the sponsors that it's not their duty it looks like they have an idea because they didn't state that they don't know who um, is behind they, they, they stated and you guys you can see that um, the way they, they tend to expose themselves the other day it was Ganduje that was stating that um, the headsmen that they were coming from um, other um, countries, other nearby countries um, into Nigeria. So they are quite aware of that and they know what to do to stop all of this, but they do nothing. Now they are saying that it is not their uh, duty to expose the Boko Haram sponsors, which means that um, they, they know very well who the people behind them, the people supplying them all of the weapons and the people giving them the backings. Guys, Nigerians have reacted. We'll look into some of their reactions. Someone here has said that, how can you expose yourself? Quite shocking. This is really shocking. And uh, so that what the person means is that um, for them to be saying they can't expose those supporting um, the Boko Haram, this person believes that the military themselves, they've got a hand in it. Because if we take a look at um, the happenings, um, the other day in um, Kaduna State, one of the killings that, um, that they killed scores of people, loads of people, it was said that um, there was even a military checkpoint just not far away from that village where they went and committed those crimes and killed a lot of people. It was after the, the Boko Haram they've left, that was when um, they moved in. And um, just uh, and came in casually. So um, this person believes that uh, the military, they are behind it. Uh, how can you expose yourself? Quite shocking. Someone else here says that only God can deliver us in this miserable country. Just look at what human beings is stating, if this is actually true. So um, these uh, guys, uh, they still believe, yeah, this one is still linked to what the first person said earlier on that um, how can you actually expose yourself, um, believing that uh, the military, they've got um, their hands in all of this. Let's not forget also that um, recently we did report that news here at Peak Network 
when um, one Boko Haram um, um, was caught and what they found in the, with, with the, in the possession of the Boko Haram was quite shocking. It was contact details of um, uh, the military police and, and soldiers. So it looks like they are working together, maybe taking I'm giving them the timing when they are free to carry out their activities. It was quite shocking. Someone else here says, um, if all the security agencies will fold there and keep watching the criminals who are responsible towards Boko Haram, that means you guys are wrestling the country um, resources. I think what this guy is trying to say here that um, if all the security agencies are folding their arms and not saying anything, that means that uh, they are just um, wasting the, the, the country's um, resources. That um, if you really know who these criminals are, expose them and um, stop um, speaking too much. So uh, this one that the, the, the Nigerian military have said is even more, they've even, uh, they, are even they are even contradicting themselves the more and they've put themselves um, in, a, in, a, in a more difficult situation because you are stating that uh, it is not your duty to expose them, those sponsoring Boko Haram, meaning that you know very well who is sponsoring them. Someone else here says that be quick to arrest anyone for peaceful protest or just going back to his lawful business while the sponsors of terror are given police escorts. You know what all these are connected to? They are connected to uh, presidency, those in power, those in authority. Because Nigerians, we know very well, even if they are saying here that... Uh, they can't, uh, they are not ready, uh, the military is saying that um, they, it's not their duty to expose those sponsoring Boko Haram. It's not something far-fetched, it's not something too difficult for them to figure out. They know very well because it's within them, it's amongst them. This person here is stating here that um, you are very quick to arrest anyone that wants to um, carry out a peaceful protest, anyone that is returning to their business, they harass people every now and then. You can imagine even the lockdown, during the lockdown, uh, when it, there was lockdown I mean, in the FCT, um, Ogun State and Lagos State, you can see how policemen, they, uh, um, and, I mean military, how they were just uh, um, acting to enforce lockdown. It led to the loss of lives. It's so sad. Loss of lives. And people were saying that um, Boko Haram is there for you to go and show all of uh, this, your muscles, how to, uh, if, you, if you are really looking for someone to hold on, the Boko Haram, they are there. Just when first lockdown is resulting to the loss of life, it's quite shocking. So when I see I say is that the real reason why you can't uncover their sponsor is that the sponsor is between you people, the service chiefs and commander in charge. Nigerians are all saying the same thing, that the sponsor is just a circle around you, nobody else but you. Someone else here has got something shocking to say. Someone else here says the sponsor of Boko Haram is number one, Buhari. Number two, Borotai and all the service chiefs with some northern um, influential personality. So you can see all uh, what all Nigerians have been saying. They are all tied to, they are all connected because Nigerians feel that Buhari is the number one sponsor of this Boko Haram. Because what does it take to really end this um, this terrorism in Nigeria? What does it take to really put an end? Borotai keeps uh, saying that um, we're doing our best, we're working hard, and we'll try. There was even one time they said it was difficult to locate their, their hideouts. They don't know where their hideouts is, and they keep giving Nigerians all sort of stories. But right now, this one that they've said that uh, the reason they cannot expose them is quite shocking. And Nigerians, um, they, they, they are watching, and they already know that um, what you guys are doing, your hands, the service chiefs, they are really, really, truly involved in all of this. So guys, uh, please let us know what you think about um, all of this. Uh, do leave your take and um, drop your comments down below in the comment section. If you uh, if you believe um, that um, the service chiefs and uh, and Buhari himself, they are part of all of those um, sponsoring um, Boko Haram in Nigeria, let us know. I would be glad to get on in a healthy conversation. I want to say a big thank you to all of our subscribers. We really do appreciate you. Thank you for coming out here. and Thank you for attracting new subscribers to our channel. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again with more updates, it's bye for now and God bless.